We're here with Jen from Good Steward Training, one of our amazing volunteers and adorable Sanchez. And today we're talking pity power. So Jen, tell us some of the most common traits of pities and mixed pity breeds. So there is a lot to love about pitties and pit breeds. Of course, it's important to remember that pit bull type dogs are not actually one breed. And a lot of what you see with the dog doesn't necessarily tell you what breed it is, especially if they've been mixed for several generations. But there are definitely some breed characteristics, especially in purebred different pit types, that we know to be true. Some of my favorites are the fact that they are definitely high energy and can be a little bit rambunctious. And this is really great for people who like an active lifestyle or just enjoy spending a lot of time playing with their dogs. This usually makes pity types great playmates because they're down for almost any game you want to come up with and sometimes they'll make up some of their own. I also love that pitties have great tenacity and they're very driven. And the reason that's a lot of fun is because it actually makes them some of the best learners I've ever worked with. Pits are definitely interested in getting to the end goal, which means, oh, you catch the fly, like catching that fly. And that's really great because it means that as soon as they figure out what it is you want them to do to get that treat or that toy, they're gonna be really quick to repeat it. So they are really, really smart and a ton of fun to work with. And then of course, one of the most well-known things about pit type dogs is that they are incredibly loving. I don't think there's any type of dog I've met that is quite as cuddly, as snuggly, or as happy to be around you as pets. Quick to be right in my lap for a good booty scratch. He also loves to play with toys and lay in the kiddie pool. So he is a lot of fun just to hang out with. I also have heard the rumor that he is an adorable snorer. So if you want a cute cuddle bug with a nice little white noise machine built in, this is your guy. So Jen, what's the best kind of home for Sanchez? Well, I definitely think that Sanchez would do best in a home that has people who are a little bit experienced with dog behavior and comfortable interpreting and understanding dog body language. One thing that we've noticed about Sanchez, which is true about a lot of dogs, is he can be a little bit unsure in new environments. And that can look a lot, a lot of different ways. It might be that he leans on you for support or that he lets out a big bark at something that he's not really comfortable with. So making sure that you just are comfortable helping him build that confidence is really key. He also, because of that, would do better in a family that isn't necessarily looking to bring him out to the bar or the restaurant on the weekends. He might be a little bit more comfortable with a lifestyle that revolves more around going to a nice open park or hanging out in the home. Sanchez has had dog friends and he does enjoy playing with those dogs that he likes, but he's what we would call dog selective or maybe dog tolerant, which just means that he's gonna pick and choose the friends whose personalities fit his. So if you have a dog at home, you definitely wanna bring them in to make sure that they're gonna be a good match. Well, he certainly looks happy enough. Look at that tail waving around. He's the cutest little boy. And if you're interested in Sanchez, you can go out to our website, the Humane Society of Pinellas.org, and look up his details. And good news is that his adoption is sponsored by a community supporter. Oh, here comes my favorite boy. And there goes my favorite boy. See ya. He's gone with his toy. So if you'd like to have a playmate all year round, every day, that loves to roll in the grass, you need to come meet the most awesome boy, Sanchez.